Oh, I really wanted to do a short video to discuss this quote. I ask you not to hate me. It's said by Talithibius from Euripides, Women of Troy. I wanted to do this quote because Talithibius is such a contentious character and analysis on him can come to different conclusions about how you interpret his words and his actions. On one hand, you could say he is to be outrightly condemned and on the other hand, you might say that he's a character to be pitied and sympathised with. Hi, I'm Kat from Bear Learn, and if you haven't gotten your bear bank open already, take a few seconds to log in. If you don't have an account, it's free to create one. And now, once you do, we can take some quick notes on this quote, I ask you not to hate me. It's on page 34 and is said by Talithibius, a soldier in the Greek army that interacts with the Trojan woman. I personally found that Women of Troy is really clear about the good characters and the bad characters. We have Melanaeus, who's a cuckolded, a cuckolded, scorned hypocrite. There is no, there are no redeeming qualities about him that I can find in the pages of the play. And then there are the women made up of Hecuba and the chorus who are well and truly represented by the once a queen, always a queen Hecuba. The women are clearly the victims, they are to be pitied and they have the support of the audience or at least they are positioned to have the support of the audience. Hecuba especially is not only admired but valorised and immortalised by Euripides across time in the pages of his famous play and in other famous plays like Shakespeare's Hamlet because of her eloquence. And while I'm here, can I please quote Philip Thiel? who is on the very first episode of my friend Claire Mackey's podcast, Teachers Talk Texts. He said that, uh, such a funny, brilliant quote that Hecuba is his favorite literary grandma. That made me laugh. Thank you, Philip. It's such a fun episode to listen to. So if you're studying Women of Troy or just want a good listen, I highly recommend that podcast. But I digress. Let's come back to Talithibius. So, as I was saying, Euripides is pretty clear about how he wants his male Greek audience to feel about certain characters. And then there are the grey characters, like Talithibius and even Helen. So even if you feel pretty strongly, like I do, about Talithibius or Helen, when we write our essays, we still need to acknowledge the other possible interpretation of them. As you know, I personally don't like Talithius, but when I write about him, like I do in the bear quotes, a series of quotes and detailed analysis that you can get sent to your inbox for 50 days straight on Women of Troy, you can get them from my website, bearlearn.com. In there, when I write about Talithius, I use this quote, I ask you not to hate me, to acknowledge that he can be sympathized with, especially when he feels that he must convey and be an instrument in executing an order from the Greek council that he fundamentally disagrees with. What does Talithius disagree with? He has conveyed other bad news to the Trojan woman before, but in this instance, he needs to tell Adromache that the Greek council has decided to throw her young boy as Tyanax from the battlements of Troy. So imagine a tall building and they're just going to kill him by throwing him off it. Uh, Astyanax is an innocent boy. Um, he's done nothing wrong. And if you think about that kind of death, I'm finding it even hard to talk about. It's not a quick death. And the whole time the young boy will know that he's going to die in the most horrific of ways. He is going to be terrified the whole time. War is synonymous with death, but it is not a blanket excuse to let loose your most cruelest, grisliest, debased side of yourself, which is what the Greek council has essentially done by coming up with the idea to kill Astyanax in that way. I was really moved by the scene and got Euripides message very loud and clear that war at all costs is to be avoided. The fact that Talithius, in my view, who is pretty businesslike in conveying news or executing other orders from his superiors, is actually disturbed by this latest news that he has to convey, it actually elevates him above his leaders, like the famed Odysseus, demonstrating how this low-ranking soldier, Talithius, has a greater sense of right or wrong compared to those who are meant to be great logical thinkers. 
Another thing to adopt in your analysis about Talithius and another thing to adopt in any essay talking about Talithius is his frequent use of ellipsis when having to convey this latest news about Estyanax to Andromache. The frequent dot dot dot, that's the ellipsis that you see in this passage, demonstrates or is intending to convey all the pauses in his speech showing that he is truly struggling to convey this latest piece of news. So to recap, this quote can be used not just to show some degree of depth in Talithius, but to show how war can make seemingly logical men brutes when you juxtapose Talithius' discomfort with how the Greek council feels proud in coming up with such a grotesque sentence. If you got something out of this analysis, please like this video and subscribe. As mentioned, I have other videos like this on my channel to help you understand the meaning of key quotes from Euripides' Woman of Troy. If you'd like other resources from me, remember Bear Bank is free to sign up to. We've got the daily quotes from Woman of Troy that's free. And if you want the analysis, that's when you need to pay. But it is strong analysis that you're getting. And it's different to a normal study guide in that it's all analysis. There's no plot summary. There's no character summary. You get your quote and you have your detailed analysis about that quote. So making sure that you have a good understanding of the key characters and the general plot development in Woman of Troy is important before buying in bear quotes. If you want all of your bear quotes, whether just the free quotes only or the quotes and analysis put all at once into your bear bank, make sure to pick the add to bear bank option on the website, put it into your cart and check out and we'll make sure to copy all of our quotes and notes in our Woman of Troy into your repository on bear bank. All the best with your studies and on building up your quotes and notes for Women of Troy, be educated and read.